Ladies and gentlemen, hello, and you are watching TV News with some related events in the province. And now, coming to details. Ladies and gentlemen, the province has just had another good news. A prior when for famous specialties of the province have been recently voted in the top 100 outstanding dishes and give of city three province cities in the country. The result was established by the Central Association of Vietnam Record and the Vietnam Record Organization, Viking. Specifically, in 2021-2022, Dinan has two specialties selected in the top of Vietnamese specialty, including Dinan beef and Dinan pomelo spring rolls, two other specialties, including Dinan custard apple and Dinan mixed rice paper, were selected in the top of 100 Vietnamese gift specialties. Previously, the specialty of province such as Vilwick lemon rush, Jongbang rice spaghetti, Hoang Ngoc Thai, Slim So, were also honored and voted. Being voted in the top of 100 outstanding dishes and gifts of the whole country not only contributes to promoting and rising the value of the specialties of the province, but also is a suggestion and a choice that tourists cannot ignore when visiting and traveling in Tainan, as well as choosing to buy specialties of the province as gifts. Regarding the situation of some Vietnamese citizens going to Cambodia to work illegally, in the afternoon of September 1st, the National Assembly delegation of the province worked with Mobile Portugal Station on some related issues. Previously, many cases of Vietnamese citizens were lured and deceived to Cambodia with many information on social networking sites, showing signs of fraud, causing many painful and confusing consequences for Vietnamese people. The delegation worked with Mobile Bodega Station on a number of related issues, such as immigration situation, protection of citizens through the border gate, the work of grasping the situation, coordinating to rescue the cases of being dragged to Cambodia. In addition, the delegation also wanted to understand the situation and assess the impact related to Vietnamese people when Cambodia carried out a general check on visas and work permits of Vietnamese people in the Cambodian territory. In the morning of September 1st, the detention center of the provincial public security held a ceremony to announce the president's decision on amnesty for inmates serving sentences serving sentence at the detention center. According to the newly announced decision of the president on National Day this year, 2,434 prisoners have been pardoned. On September 1st, prisons announced the decision to grant amnesty to well-educated prisoners. This time, Dylan has 23 inmates eligible for special amnesty and one inmate has been pardoned by the president from death to life sentence. Speaking at the amnesty ceremony, Kono Nguyen Van Jai, director of the provincial public security, hoped that the prisoners who received this amnesty when returning to their localities could continue to strive to train themselves and strictly abide by the laws of the state and local regulations to become useful citizens for society. The prisoners who were granted amnesty this time are supported by the provincial police detention center to make a new citizen identification card. Amnesty for prisoners is a demonstration of the party and state policy towards offenders who have truly repented, creating favorable conditions for offenders to undergo progressive rehabilitation to soon return and reunite with their families and community reintegration. In the morning of August 31st, the People Committee of Ramban Tao held a ceremony to announce the decision and receive the Bromiso Level Relief Ranking Certificate for Fulu Communal House. Fulu Communal House was built on Fulu Lane, a place from in 1836, and is now located in Fulton Hamlet, Phuc Bình Khamil, Ramban Tao. Currently, the communal house worships the god emperor Bong Cảnh, did an employ Cao Hữu Bằng, formerly known as Cao Hữu Dực, who deserved in establishing 26 villages and hamlets of Tinan province under the Nguyễn dynasty, including the ancient land of Phuc Lưu. 
He was a person who had merit in fighting foreign invaders, reclaiming land, protecting and helping villagers live a happy and prosperous life. Every year, on the 16 and 17 of the second lunar month, the government and people in the commune organize gay in worshiping ceremony to remember the merits of those who have reclaimed open land, established villages, and honor historical values, and at the same time, remind today's generations to uphold the sense of responsibility for the protection and preservation of relics and traditional cultural identities of the locality. Currently, foreigners with a work permit or a work permit exemption certificate, the work visa can be extended for a maximum of one year, particularly experts, managers, and technical workers who are foreigners entering Vietnam to work in enterprises are granted visas with a maximum duration of three months, not enough time to install machinery, project implementation. Currently, in industrial parts in the province, there are foreign workers and experts who need to extend their visa. Responding to the petition of tenant voters on this issue, the Ministry of Public Security stated, foreign experts and workers working in Vietnam on comply with the provisions of articles and clause issued by the Labor Court and Law on Inter-Exit, Transit and Residents of Foreigners Entering Vietnam. There are cases of foreigners who are granted a visa for up to three months, but due to formats such as natural disaster, epidemic, new incidents have not been able to complete their work or are being granted a work permit. Please contact the Immigration Department directly, the Ministry of Public Security for guidance, support and consideration for facilitate the extension of temporary residence for each specific case. The Orient's Mid-Autumn Festival come. Children who overcome difficulties study well and are the children of workers with difficult competence. Living far away from home working in industrial zones in the province, participated in the program Full Moon Festi Night, a riding scholarship to overcome difficulties and study well, organized by the Trade Union of the Economic Zones with many joyful and meaningful activities. The program took place in the evening of August 30, 2022 at the Trade Union headquarters of the Provincial Economic Zone located in Dambang Industrial Park with many fun and exciting performances for the children. In the program in the mid-autumn session of 2022, the Provincial Trade Union of the Economic Zone received the sponsorship and companionship of units such as Agribank and Vietnamese Jamba Industrial Park Ranch, Cayman Group Joy Stock Company and some other sponsors, thereby more than 150 mid-autumn festival gifts including lanterns, milk, confectionery, and 240 scholarships were presented for students who overcome difficulties and study well in the 2021-2022 school year with a total amount of 210 million Vietnam dong, in which each scholarship for students at three levels of education is 500,000 Vietnam dong for primary school, 800,000 Vietnam dong for junior high school and 1 million Vietnam dong for high school. Ladies and gentlemen, after 11 years of waiting for funding the project of Ho Chi Minh Bro, the section of Chiang Thanh Đức Hòa passing through the province will continue to be built in 2022. This is good news for the people. The completion of Ho Chi Minh Bro project will brightly shorten the travel time to the western province and the province in the southeast region. The Ho Chi Minh Road project, the section of Chiang Thanh Đức Hòa is 84 km long, passing through the territory of four provinces of Bình Phước, Bình Dương, Long An and Tây Ninh, connecting the provinces of the Central Highlands with the provinces of the Southwest and Southwest regions. The section road in the province is 21 km long. The project includes 23 biting packages with two lanes, approved by the Ministry of Transport in December 2007. With the capital of government bonds, construction began in 2009. In 2011, due to the economic crisis, the project was suspended under Resolution 11, so it just completed about 10 km of the section through Bình Phước province. 
implement the resolution of the National Assembly on adjusting a number of contents and solutions in order to continue effectively implementing the policy of investment in building Ho Chi Minh Road. The Ministry of Transport has approved the investment policy of the Ho Chi Minh Road construction project. The section of Chiang Than Đức Hòa with the length of 73 kilometers with a sign of two lengths. So after 11 years of suspending construction due to lack of capital, the Ho Chi Minh Road project has been restarted. Total investment is nearly 2,300 billion Vietnam dong from the state budget. It is expected to be completed in 2025. Currently, the Ho Chi Minh Road Project Management Board is completing relevant procedures to submit to the Ministry of Transport for approval the project feasibility study report expected in the first quarter of 2023. The Ministry of Transport requested the People Committee of the Nguyen Province to direct relevant agencies and units to closely coordinate with the Ho Chi Minh Road Project Management Board to ensure that the project is completed on schedule, soon put into operation, creating conditions for social economic development of the region. As a professional agency, we determined to be the focal point to connect with local agencies in performing the task of solving the site clearance to soon hand over the site as planned, improve the investment efficiency of the project. The Ho Chi Minh Road section Trường Thành Đức Hòa is an important left light traffic road passing through four provinces. It aims to share traffic with access along the southeast region, completing the project not only completes the transport network, promotes the efficiency of investment capital from the budget, contributes to promoting the development of key economic regions in the south and southwest, but also ensures national security of the region. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all for today's TTP News. Thank you for watching and see you next time.